Hello and welcome. This week's video I'm going to show you how I painted 40 old boys in around 12 hours. This video will be set out into a few separate sections. Before we get started with the painting I'll be going through how I modelled the orcs in a way that will help with the painting. To start with the modelling I cut out all the separate parts into all different piles. I then separated the left and right arms into separate piles. I began with sticking the feet to the bases. A quick note on these. I only put a very small dollop of glue on the bottom of the This helps for basing later as it will allow you to snap them off the base nice and easy. When gluing the arms on I made sure that they were in an awkward position so you could easily get to the body of the orb. I then stuck them to some old bottle caps with a bit of blue tack. This is very handy for holding the miniature while painting and airbrushing. After the models are set I then started priming. For this I used Vallejo black prime through an airbrush thinned out with a bit of Vallejo foam prover. Before moving on to the next step, I ensured that all the models had an even coat all the way across them. A useful tip when you're batching out a load of models is to have a Q-tip with a little bit of airbrush clean on hand ready to clear your nozzle. Next I added a very fine highlight to the top of the model and to the face of the model, kind of like a xenophil highlight but focusing on the face. This will make sense later when we add the green, it will bring the viewer's attention more to the face than the rest of the model as the face will be the brightest part of the model. The key to this is to add more and more white to the face, making it brighter and also feathering out around the top of the bottle. The next step is to paint the face. I did this using Vallejo Airs Dark Green. I add a different number of coats to each model to help vary the skin tone. It's important to know that for each of these steps I completed all 40 orcs before moving on to the next one. The next step is to wash the skin. As you can see if you use a different shade you can get a different look of your orc. If you use Beltane Green you'll get a really vibrant green, but if you use Agrax Earthshade you'll get a very dulled down dirty look. I ended up using mostly Agrax Earthshade. To 
To apply it, simply add it to all the skin. For the trousers I use Vallejo's dark green. Don't worry about getting it over the boots as we'll be going over them in the next step. For the boots, darken down the same grey green. This will give a slightly different texture and a different colour to the boots, so it differentiates them from the trousers in the final model. To do this, I add some of Vallejo's black to the cup, mixed it in until I was happy with the colour. For all the cloth, I used Vallejo Airs Medium Sea Grey and I applied it with the paintbrush. The key here is to take your time and try not to get any on the green skin that you've already completed. For all the leather, use Vallejo Air Black. Try and focus it mainly in the middle of all the leather parts, as when we apply the wash it will darken down the edges. Next is the metallics. To do this, I use Vallejo Airs Gun Metal. Don't forget you'll need to paint the slugger, the armor plates, the helmet, and then both parts of the axe. Next we'll be going back to Agrax Earthshade. This time we'll be placing it very selectively on the armour panels around the edges along all the leather and the cloth and making sure it gets in all the recesses. While washing it on make sure that you're painting towards where you want the darkest part of the shadows to be. Finally the finishing touches. To start off with we'll be painting the bone using Citadel as a shafty bone. 
make sure you get any horns on the helmets, any teeth underneath the magazine of the weapon, and of course the teeth themselves. Last up is the face paint. As my orc army is painted mainly in orange, I'll be using Troll Slayer's orange, but you could pick any colour. To do this, make sure your paint is very well watered down and applies very smoothly, as you want to take your time while applying this and applying very smooth coats, just so a little bit of the skin shows through, but not too much that you can't tell it's orange. So there you have it, your 40 boys should now be done. Hope you enjoyed this video and tune in to next week where I'll be showing you how I based all 40.